I had a funny day today. I was walking down the street in my neighborhood and I noticed that this man was kind of following behind me. Ladies, whoever had this, you're walking down the street, you're just like, oh my God, am I hot? Uh, am I hot enough to get killed by this guy? That's so cool. I didn't know this shirt was working for me, you know? I'm walking down the street, I noticed he's too close behind me and it goes on for a few blocks, like long enough where I was like, this is definitely happening. So I saw a trustworthy looking man walking his dog and I walked up to him, I was just like, hey dude, do you mind talking to me for a few minutes? There's a guy behind me that's freaking me out. And he goes, we can fucking talk as long as you want, sweetheart. <laughs> also, I got my fucking gun. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, am I pro gun? Holy shit. I think every, my dad's gonna be so proud. Everybody should have a gun. Give every man a gun. That was my favorite type of person I've run into lately. I've also discovered recently a new type of person that I don't like. Don't we love when we can do that? You know, you just find a personality, you're like, that fucking sucks, let's mark that off. <laughs> this new type of person I don't like is people that introduce themselves to you like they're on a reality television show. I don't know if you've had this. They're always making like really big statements about their own personality. It's this guy, it's this guy. Yo, one thing you need to know about me, dude, <laughs> I'm loyal to a fault, bro. <laughs> You're either my best friend or my worst enemy, dog. <laughs> you're like, all right, we're ready to order. Um, <laughs> thanks for the info, Chris. Love to get to know you, you know? <laughs> Women do it too, unfortunately, is this lady, is this lady. You know this about me. <laughs> I'm chill until I'm not chill. <laughs> you're like, yeah, it sounds like you have emotions. That's what being a person is. <laughs> That's not special. I'm scared of doing that joke at shows because no offense, but people like that fucking love to go to comedy shows, okay? <laughs> it's like 85% of every comedy audience. You always see a guy getting kicked out for heckling and he's just like, one thing you need to know about me and the boys? We're gonna cause a ruckus at Daniel Tosh, my guy. <laughs> we will be tearing it up at Daniel Tosh. I did write that joke so I could say cause a ruckus at Daniel Tosh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm so happy to be here. I'm from the South originally. I moved from Tennessee a few years ago. Um, I love going back down South. The last time that I went back to Nashville, I was not back for 12 hours before I heard a woman cough until she puked in the bathroom of a Waffle House. Uh, I was just like, baby, I'm home, you know? Uh, they're playing my song in there. Might as well be Rocky Top, you know? Uh, I should say that that woman was me. Um, <laughs> 100% me, I had a fun Thursday night, okay? You can do whatever you want in a Waffle House bathroom. You can sleep in there. A lot of people don't know that. Has anybody flown into Nashville? You ever been to Nashville, visited? Oh, it's so fun. It's become such a fun city. Country music is my favorite thing in the entire world. I've noticed the past few times that I've flown home that they have country music stars welcome you over the intercom at the airport in Nashville. It's always funny. Sometimes they make them do like security announcements. They're just like, hi, I'm Reba McIntyre. <laughs> and we're at a threat level yellow right now. <laughs> Did you pack your own bags? <laughs> Terrorism is imminent here in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> hi, I'm Jody Messina. And if you must see something, you should must say something. <laughs> Do your civic duties. <laughs> yes, ma'am, Jody. <laughs> My whole family is from the South. They're from like Tennessee, Alabama. My dad's from a place called Arab, Alabama. Anybody ever been? It would be weird if you had. Uh, spelled Arab, pronounced Arab, by the way. Don't fuck it up, they'll kill you. Um, <laughs> dad's from a place called Arab, Alabama. Some of my favorite memories of my entire life are in Alabama. My favorite one was at my grandpa's funeral. Please go with me on this, I promise it's funny. Uh, my dad and his dad had kind of like a contentious relationship, okay? They had a weird thing. It was very emotional for my father and he was watching them put his dad in the ground and my dad, as like a gesture of closure, uh, he looks at the grave digger and he goes, do you mind if I throw the first shovel full of dirt onto my dad's grave? Pretty deep, huh? Uh, and the grave digger lit up a cigarette and said, you can fucking cover him all the way up if you want to, goddamn. <laughs> you feel like doing my job? Tight, get to digging, pussy, you know? <laughs> I come from a family of very heavy smokers. Anybody smoke out there tonight? Oh my God, the healthiest state in the world. Go fuck yourselves. Um, 
I've been a smoker my entire adult life. I've been trying to quit recently. I've been reading all the advice on quitting online. Every piece of stop smoking advice sounds like it was written by a hot eighth grade girl, okay? It's just like, ew. <laughs> you know that's bad for you, right? You should stop. <laughs> quit it. I'm like, thanks, Jessica. Um, I've been trying to quit for so long. I've tried so many ways to stop smoking. One thing I've never tried is the stop smoking pill. It's called Shantix. Have you guys heard of it? Yeah. Ray Liotta's in their commercials looking like a fucking psychopath. You've seen it. Yeah. Three of the actual side effects of Shantix are hallucinations, delusions, and night terrors. Okay? It's on the box. What the fuck? I feel like that's a pretty high price to pay, you know? You'd be like, Laura, I heard you kicked the habit. I'd be like, oh, really? <laughs> well, I heard that that broom over there and the vice principal of Zimbabwe are trying to murder my favorite member of the A-team, so... <laughs> kind of like who could smoke at a time like this you know what I mean <laughs> shantix you can't smoke if you're hiding from demons in your neighbor's crawl space <laughs> thank you shantix you saved my life I want to talk to the ladies in the room in the room about something really quick and guys I'll come back to you okay ladies can we agree that in the year of our lord 2022 there is too much pee on our public toilet seats. Can we agree with that? Okay, it's getting pretty good. It's getting pretty bad. And guys, I know it's worse for you, all right? I know it's like a war zone in there. Uh, I don't even think they have toilets. I think it's just like a room with a drain in the middle, <laughs> like a prison shower, you know? But gals, it's getting pretty bad. I think what we need to do this year, let's start it off right. Let's sit fully down every single time, okay? Every time. I wanna feel your ass warmth on my ass when I go in after you, all right? Instead, what do you got? You got these freaking hoverers, okay? These athletes out here just using their giant quads to levitate over the toilet seat like some sort of fucking piss witch just casting little pee-pee spells for us lazy girls to clean up. Some of us don't have the core strength, okay? Some of us are pretty drunk every day, all right? I'm the laziest person who ever lived. Does anybody identify as lazy in here? Yeah. Go lazy with my lazos, perfect. That's a pretty lazy response, good job. Um, I'm the laziest person who ever lived. I wanna get a read on this. Are you guys the kind of lazy where when you wake up in the middle of the night and you have to pee, you spend two and a half hours convincing yourself that you don't actually have to pee instead of getting up to pee. Okay, we all know that's not how pee works, all right? It just builds, you know? It's not like poop. <laughs> the urge to poop can go away. The urge to pee is here to stay. That's what I always say, you guys. That's my motto. That's what's on my throw pillows at home. Poops are sneakier like that. They're just like, oh, you win this time. <laughs> I'll be back, you know. <laughs> I just sort of slink back up inside you. Okay, I'm sorry to end on such a gross note. Love you guys. Have a great night. Thanks for having me.